Hello, friends. Today for our children's moment, we're gonna take a look at the parable of the wheat and the weed. Now, when Jesus was telling this parable, he wanted all of his listeners to think of the fact that the wheat and the weeds are very difficult to tell apart. And in fact, in his story, the farmer said to the workers, wait until the very, very end. And when we harvest the wheat, that is when we will separate the weeds from the wheat. And Jesus was wanting us to think about the fact that the wheat is good. It has um, sustenance for us. It provides us with nutrition. It makes us healthy and strong. And then there's the weeds. And the weeds are invasive. They, uh, they get in where they're not supposed to be and they just keep growing and growing and growing. And they're not seen as being good. Now, when I thought about this, I thought, oh, you know what? I'm gonna bring in a bunch of flowers, especially blue bonnets and Indian paintbrushes and all these fun spring wallflowers. And then I was gonna go, you know what? Choose the good flower from the weed. Because you see blue bonnets, as beautiful as they are, are really weeds. They're just weeds, but they're beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. But we're in July, it's hot, and there are no beautiful spring weeds to show you. So I had to go back to the drawing board. And just in time to go back to the drawing board, my puppy Blue, who you met a few weeks ago, managed to do something that was very much weed-ish. In fact, I am still pretty riled about it right now. So Blue, before I go show you him, I want to tell you kind of what he did. Blue has an awful, awful habit of eating boxes that get delivered. And I have a habit of buying a lot of things online. So we have an awful lot of boxes that come to the house on a daily basis of which are now getting destroyed if I don't get to them fast enough. Well, this week I had ordered some fun activities for y'all to do in your craft bag pickup. And it's fine. Craft bag pickup is still gonna happen, but Blue got to it first. And he acted like a weed. So let's go see if we can find Blue, and let me see if you can figure out what Blue got into. <gasps> Blue? Blue, I see you. Blue, what did you get into? So, could you tell what Blue got into? He has red and pink and yellow and orange paws. There's a little bit of green if you look on his back end of things. He got into food coloring. So the craft project is for y'all to take um, discs, fill them with glue, and put food coloring in them. And they're going to dry and make beautiful, beautiful sun catchers. Super fun, super easy to do. Everybody needs to pick up a craft bag. It'll be fun. Okay, and Blue got to the box of food coloring and managed to eat 11 bottles of food coloring. Now, his stomach hurts. He's just pretty much, well, he always lays all day long. So he's just continuing to lay and not do anything. But He's kind of moaning a little bit. Um, it's not bad for him. I mean, it's food coloring, it's food safe. It's just not the best for him and especially not 11 bottles of it that 
is like red dye. It's, it's not good, not good. He was a weed. He did something that was not very nice. He is feeling it now, right? He's got his stomach ache, but he didn't make a good choice there. Now, will we forgive him? Absolutely, absolutely. But you're gonna find, boys and girls, that going through life, you're gonna have friends that are great friends the whole time and they are wheat. They make you feel good about who you are. They build you up and not bring you down. They support you in crazy ideas that you might have. And then you're gonna have friends that are weeds. Life lesson, life lesson. If you ever have a friend that is a weed, they're not really your friend. Because you see, a friend is not someone who is going to spread rumors about you or tell secrets that you've given or laugh at you when you fall down. A friend is not going to be one who makes you feel yucky. So, what do we do? Because we're always gonna have wheat and weeds. You're gonna have friends that are great that build you up. And then you're gonna know people that are just gonna make you feel kinda yucky. So, God says it's not for us to pull out the weeds. It's not our job. At the very end, when we harvest the wheat, then we'll separate the weeds. But until then, we have to get along with the weeds. So we've gotta be friendly and nice and kind because they're God's creation too. And we're not gonna judge them. Instead, we're just going to be kind. And while it's easy to be kind to the wheat, it's not very easy to be kind to the weeds. Like blue right now, eh, I'm a little angry. Eh. <laughs> I don't even, I don't even know what to say, but I do know this. Everyone is going to have weeds and weeds in their life. And both are going to teach us lots, lots of lessons. And we're going to be kind to both. But the wheat, those are friends to keep around forever. <laughs>